viene algo grande, la gran bailarina de rumba, que se ha ganado el aplauso del pueblo mexicano en general, señorita Mariquita del Mar. heading back to Yellow Creek. Well, I reckon what he ran away from has been straightened out. Where are you getting that, Duke? He ain't fooling anybody. If he's not a wanted man, why has he been hanging around the border for two years? For his father's health, he says. But he ain't got that excuse no longer. If the truth was known, I bet the old buzzer died of lead poison. <laughs> if you ask me, Dan Ward and his father was both outlaws. No need to ask you, Farrell. Here's Dan. Why not ask him? You're taking back what you just said, Farrell. Or I'm putting the brand of a liar on you. I reckon that goes as I played it, Ward. God, Dan! Get excited, partner. Your turn is next. Get up. And keep going till I can't even hear your echo. Back in Farrell's play. Well, I wasn't in that play. I, they were his chips, and you cashed them for him. <laughs> you know, Dan, I was always your pal. You're too close to Farrell to be any friend of mine. Because that's the way you feel about it. That's that. Yeah, that's what old Yakima said when he grabbed the wildcat with the tail. <laughs> Dan, sure enough, are you going to pull up stakes? Yeah. Since Dad died, there's nothing to keep me here. Besides, I want to see the old town. I've still got some friends there in spite of all the foolish tricks I pulled. One friend in particular. See, hey, Dan? Yep. She's still waiting for me. I wrote her a letter and told her to meet me outside of town. With what I got from the sale of our spread here, I aimed to buy me a little ranch. Marry Molly and settle down. If Jim Swain is still there, he might change your mind for you. Swain won't stop me. I'm hoping to avoid trouble. But if he wants to keep that old quarrel alive, you'll find I can take care of my end of it. I never knowed you to ride around trouble. And you sure can handle it when you meet it. Why not come along, Jim? We could go shares. Not me. With you getting married, three will be a crowd. No, Dan, that's your country. This is mine. 
I reckon we're better off sticking to our own. So soon? I want to hit there before sundown tomorrow. I'll miss you, Jim. That goes double for me, partner. If I was sure there's going to be a scrap, I'd trail along. There won't be any if I can help it. Come on, partner. So long, Dad. Dan, it's Molly. Everything's all right. Dan! Molly. I've sure been away from you a long time, Molly. It's been ages. I've been thinking of you every day. I've got a lot of plans, and some of them will surprise you. Where's your horse? Oh, over there in the rock. What's the matter? You seem to be nervous. What do you mean? Well, you're trembling. <laughs> Just the excitement of meeting you, that's all. Dan, Jim Swain's in town. So that's it. Well, we won't let him stop us from riding in. He brought his whole gang with him. What's he hanging around Yellow Creek for? I don't know. He seems to be waiting for something or somebody. But the boys are behaving themselves and the sheriff can't do a thing. Is Bob Larman still sheriff? Yeah, that old woman. You're wrong there. He's no old woman. We were talking about you the other day. He doesn't want you to come back. He's got enough trouble as it is now. Swain's in town, eh? I hope there won't be any trouble. You mean you're not going to do anything about it? After you and him have been enemies for years? I suppose I'll have to someday, but I don't aim to go looking for trouble. You're not talking like yourself, Dan. Not getting soft, are you? No. Just getting tired of the kind of life I've been leading. Never got me anything. <laughs> got your reputation. Other men certainly step high, wide, and handsome when you're around. I'm settling down, Molly. What do you say you and I get married right off? You're certainly sure of yourself, aren't you? You come riding back here expecting to pick up just where you left off. Are you trying to pretend there's another man? Suppose there is. Then I'll have to tend to him, I reckon. I mean it, Molly. I'm through with fighting and shooting scrapes. You and I are going to live decent and peaceable. My dad rode the hills, and so did yours. And they spent their lives dodging sheriffs and posses. Yes, and they were men. We'll talk it over on the way to Yellow Creek. Stand aside, Ward, and take it. Riding behind a woman's skirts, huh? Well, stand aside and take your medicine. Well, Molly, one of Swain's men. Molly!
I don't know what I can do for you, Mr. Pember. One of my deputies is laid up with a busted leg. The other is over to the Capitol on business. Dan Ward. That's right, Sheriff. Sit down. Well, what have you done now? A man tried to ambush me near Mustang Canyon. I'm not surprised at that, considering the enemies you made before you left here. Look out, he don't try it again. He won't. Why not? He's dead. You shot him? In self-defense. That's what you say. Tell me about it. What's the matter? Dan Ward's back. He just shot Ted Wells. Where is he now? At the sheriff's. I'll tell Swain. You keep out of the way. Huh? That's what happened. Why should I go gunning for a man like Ted Wells? Just what I've been asking myself. Unless it's because he's one of Swain's men. When I want to settle with Swain, I'll go after him personally. Not pick on one of his men. Anybody know you were coming? Yeah. We won't go into that. Well, you can talk safe here, Dan. Mr. Pember's my personal friend. Owns the mines over to Rockville. I said all I'm going to. Molly Clark mentioned you to me the other day. Did she know you were coming? Yeah. I wrote to her. Told her to meet me near Mustang Canyon and tell me who was in town. Just where you shot Ted Wells. It's your meaning that you think I've lied. Oh, it ain't that, Dan. I could tell you a lot. But I don't want you starting on the warpath. There he is, Swain, just like I told you. It's Wells, all right. Come on, let's settle this. That's right. We ain't letting Dan Ward get away with this. You ain't going to run wild over my county. I have known you from a boy. You've got outlaw blood in you, and no sheriff has got a thing on me. I have been wild, but I've never done anybody any lasting harm. I came back here to settle down, to put an end to the wards being outlaws, and run into something like this. Did your plan of settling down include marrying Molly Clark? Maybe. I'm going to tell you some things, but I don't want you to fly off the handle. I'd sure admire to know what you're driving at. He's in there, Swain. Step into that room, Chris. There ain't going to be any gunplay, Dan. This is my fight, Sheriff. There ain't going to be any fight. You say you don't want trouble? Now prove it by handing me that gun. Stay where you are, Swain, and don't make no bad moves. I've disarmed Ward, and that suits me. I'm not here to make war. I know what happened to Wells, and I got something to say about it. All the talk you can make won't change the facts any. He tried to ambush me, and I got him. I know it, and I don't blame you. I don't shoot from ambush, and I don't send my men to do it. Anytime I want you, Ward, I'll come after you myself. You'll find me waiting. Will you take my word for it that I didn't send him? Yes. But I'd like to know how he found out I was coming. You'll learn soon enough. I'll be seeing you. Anytime, Swain. It'll be soon. There ain't enough air around here for both of us. See here, Swain. Get him over there. Take care of his horse and saddle. I can't understand this thing at all. You hinted at something, and so did Jim Swain. Why did Wells ambush me? 
to do somebody a favor. Who? Molly Clark. What do you mean? It's the truth, Dan. Molly doesn't love you. Never did. She's crazy about Bert Gilmore. And she was afraid you'd gun for him when you found out about it. So it's my guess that she takes Ted Wells into her confidence and... You mean she planned to have Wells plug me? What else is there to think, Dan? I suspicion something when she left so hurriedly. But somehow I just couldn't believe it. But going after Bert Gilmore? I'll give him an even break. Going gunning for him because he beat your time with a girl. That's kid stuff, Dan. It's my bet that Gilmore don't know any more about it than Swain. Molly Clark's the guilty one. And you can't go gunning for a woman. About the matter we were discussing when Ward came in. I found my man. Good. Anybody I'll have to send for? No. He's right here. You're crazy. What's this all about? You know my mine's near Rockville, on the other side of the ridge? Well, we've been running a railroad spur from Rockville to the mine. There's a gang of men there waiting for their pay. I've got the money here because the bank in Rockville was closed. Now you know why Swain and his men are hanging around town. Swain's got it in for me because I've got money. He'd like to get that payroll or at least keep me from getting it through. And then trouble would start in Rockville. Why don't you get somebody to take it? I've tried, but I haven't been able to find a clever, honest man to take the risk. It's my idea. One man should do it. He would stand a better chance of getting through, for Swain has a big gang. That's what I was thinking. The man that tackles it will have a job. Swain will be trailing him every foot of the way. The payroll is $10,000. If I give it to you, will you take it through for me? I tell you, you're crazy, Pember. Ward's got outlaw blood in him. You'd never see your money again. This is my chance, Sheriff, to prove that I'm not an outlaw. You can't make it, Dan, even if you mean to. Swain's after you already. I'll get your money through for you, Mr. Pember. I want your word of honor that you won't let any personal matter interfere with this deal. You've got it. Sit down. We'll make our plan. Now, you better start about dawn, when things are quiet. Oh, hang Swain anyway. I know what he's planning. Yet I can't lay a hand on him. If he'd only give me an excuse to toss him into jail. Have you seen Red? Hasn't shown up yet, Swain. Sit down. Have you located Pember again? Must have ducked into another room at the sheriff's office when you went in. Where is he now? Still there. Him and the sheriff and Dan Ward sitting close talking. Get back there. Keep your eyes and ears open. I also want you to take a letter to my kid sister. She's a nurse at the mine. I'll go home and write it now and bring the money back here. I'll dodge the lights, but leave the front door unlocked. We better play it safe. I'll feed to my horse and then have a look around. You better lay low till it's time to leave. Well, that'll be playing right into their hands. If I show myself, they'll never suspect what's going on. Dan's right. But you're not forgetting your promise to keep out a shooting scrape until this job is finished. I've given my word on that. It's all settled.
Trust in an outlaw with $10,000. If anyone can do it, Ward can. He's got to fight outlaws. And who knows their tricks better? I am trusting him. You're a smart hombre, all right, Bert. Letting Wells fight all your battles for you. And look at what happened to him. Why, you sit down. Sure, sit down, Bert. What's the matter? Can't you take a little joke? That's no joke to me. Do I want folks to think I'm afraid of Dan Ward? Well, I'll show you that I'm not afraid of him. Howdy, boys. Howdy, Howdy. 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 Hello, Dan. How are you, Mike? You learned how to drink yet? No. I still like my ginger ale. Bert must have missed him. No worry. He'll catch up with him. Ted Wells was a friend of mine. I said Ted Wells was a friend of mine. I reckon he was. And you murdered him. The sheriff doesn't think so. Maybe you think I'm afraid to fight my own battles. He don't act that way now. Well, I'm staying in this town, Ward. And that means you're going. Now, when do you start? You're all hot about something, Gilmore. There isn't any sense in us having trouble. Ward's backing down. Draw, or do you want me to shoot you down like you did Ted Wells? What are you trying to do? Get us all thrown into the hoose now? I've got things to settle with him. Not with a gun, you don't. With the sheriff waiting to jail us all. I don't need a gun. I hope he does. Get that girl and Gilmore out of here. They've caused enough trouble for tonight. Fair enough, Swain. I wasn't hankering for a shooting scrape just now. Neither was I. I got a little job to handle first. Then we're leaving things up. What do you say to a couple of days from now? 
That's a date. Saving war for yourself, eh? Right. I know something now that I only suspicioned before. Ward is going to try and get that money through for Pember. That's what they were talking about at the sheriff's. And that's why I saved them. To get the money from him. Red, you hightail it and find the boys. We'll cover the country between here and Rockville like a blanket. And no matter where Ward tries to get through, we'll get him. Ward's a-coming. Circle around so he can't get through the gap. Now get going. Heading for the narrows. We'll get him from behind.
Where is he? I don't know. He's just ahead of us. We just got a flash of him. He's hiding around here somewhere. Come on, let's have a look. Can't get him now. Flash Swain, he's taken the south trail. He'll be waiting for a signal. That signal means he's taken the south trail. We'll get him on the grade a mile out of Rockville. That is if he lasts that long. Come on. Anderson. We've waited long enough. I can't hold him back much longer. Wait a minute, men. I haven't got your money yet. Mr. Pember will send it as soon as he can. He's a crook. He don't send a pair. Men! My brother is not a crook. He has always been honest with you. He'll get your money through when he can. Wait a minute, boys. Wait a minute. Promises don't pay for rent and food. You better get away, Miss Pember, before trouble starts. I'm going to stay right here. You men don't realize what you're doing. We don't want to do no right. We want to do right. Take the cover. Down after it. I've got what I wanted, Ward. And I'm getting you the next time we meet. Fair enough.
Well, boys, I got it. I'll tell, tell, get it. Tell, us. tell us about it. Let's have a look at it first. It's nothing but blank paper. And I let him go. But he can't get away with this. Now listen, fellas. I'll tell you what we'll do. Why, you men ain't gonna be a lot of crazy fools. You ain't gonna listen to what that silly girl has to say, are you? I tell you, they got the money in that office. No use. They've determined to raid the office. And I'm just as determined they'll not. Let's not have any bloodshed, Sanderson. So I say let's get it. And let's get it now. You guys stop the hell fire. Come on, boys. I'm from Timber. I've got your money. You hear that? He's got your money. Oh, he's got the money, has he? Let's make him throw it to us. Yeah. Let's make him throw it to us. Yeah. Here it is, boys. Your money would have been here days ago. But Timber couldn't send it to you because Swain and his gang of thugs were waiting to grab it. Jim Swain, eh? Well, we yeah. 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 We're thanking you, stranger, for bringing our money. Now, you fellas line up at the pay window. Come on in. We're going to get a pay, boys. Jim Swain, eh? Why do they let such men run loose? There's only one worse than these parts, so I'm told. And that's Dan Ward. What's your name, by the way? You just said it. Dan Ward. Oh, you don't mean that. That's my name. Well, I'm sure sorry I spoke to you, I did. You better pay those men off before they start something else. You're right. Could you tell me where I could find Miss Timber? Right there. I have a letter for you from your brother. Swain. So you're the famous Dan Ward. Don't you mean notorious? Uh, will you excuse me while I read this? Why, certainly. Here's a receipt for that money. Wait till Bob Larman sees this. I'll make him eat it. My brother's wife is ill. I ought to go to Yellow Creek at once. That wouldn't be safe, Miss Timber. The road between here and there is alive with Swain's men. He'd like nothing better than to get hold of you. You're not making yourself very clear. It'd cost your brother a lot of money if he ever got his hands on you. That's absurd. I'm needed in Yellow Creek, and I'm going there. This is a free country. It was until men like Swain took it over. You could take me. You got the money through. That was different. I'm going if I have to go alone. Perhaps you're afraid. I'm afraid, all right, but not for myself. You're not serious, Miss Betty. I certainly am. Do you think she means that? Yes, sir. She's got a mind of her own. Miss Pember. Yes, Grogan? I couldn't help but overhear what you said back there, and I've been wanting to do something for you ever since you took care of me when I was hurt that time. Maybe I could help you do what you want. If she still insists on going, the best thing to do is to hire some men. They can take her to Yellow Creek the safest way, by the main road. In the meantime, keep an eye on her. It's a good idea. I'll watch her. I'll get in touch with you later. I'll have your horse saddled and ready tonight after things get quiet. Don't tell Mr. Sanderson. Don't worry, I won't. Thanks, Grogan. I'm glad to do it, Miss Pember.
I reckon you think you're a pretty smart hombre. Have you heard Dipper? Don't, Bert. You promised not to start a fight. Bert and I are on our way to Gold City to be married. That's your mistake. What? If you think I care. Remember, you're not back in Yellow Creek yet, Ward. I'll get back. Anytime I please. Bert, Pember sister's heading for Yellow Creek tonight alone. Would Swain like to know that? He's not the only one. No, Bert. You promised you were through with all that. You keep out of this. I'll handle things. Listen, Groot, I'll tell you what we'll do. Oh, Ward, just a minute. The boys wanted me to thank you for bringing that money. That's all right. I was glad to do it. For a lot of reasons. I hear there's some Swain men in town. If you'll point them out, we'll clean them up. Adler, work. Miss Pember has disappeared. Is her horse gone? I never thought of that. Let's look in the barn. Miss Betty may be in the hotel. Let me go! Molly, Stop. you stay out of this. Stop it! I'm all right, Ward. Where's Miss Betty? Molly, what happened? Bert took Miss Pember. Anderson. I'm all right, Adler. Gilmore just made away with Miss Betty. Ward's after him. I'll round up the boys and we'll follow them. I'm going to bring him out. Ward, I'm warning you. Don't try no tricks. Hey, Ward. Yeah? There ain't no sense of us gunning for one another. I've got the girl. We'll cut Swain out of it. Turn him plane down, are you? I'm just looking out for myself. I'll make a deal with you. What is it? Molly's here. I'll trade her for Miss Pember. Nothing doing. The girl I've got's worth more to me. Better get going, Ward. Don't come in there! So you would, would you? 
She means more to you than I do, eh? Hurt bad, Molly? No, I'm all right, Dan. Just a crease. Keep her here and lay low. Swain and his gang are headed this way. I'll try and draw them off. That gang from Rockville. Send them off. Why don't you draw, Swain? You're the first one that ever beat me to the draw. You shattered my arm, Ward. I could have killed you just as well, Swain. But I'm keeping my hands clean. I've waited a long time for this, Swain. Get in there. It's hard to believe that one man could have done all that. And it's even harder to find words to thank you. Don't let that worry you. I'm plumb satisfied the way things turned out. <laughs> well, Ward, you sure are a disappointing outlaw. <laughs> if it hadn't been for Dan, I wouldn't be here. If it hadn't been for Adler, maybe none of us would be here. You know, Adler, when I first saw you and your men, I thought you were part of Swain's gang. The boy just about cleaned them out. 
There ain't many more of them left. Ward, I need you. I want you to keep right arm working for me. Is that a promise? You bet it's a promise. Now, Betty, you better run along home. Do you think you can make it safely? I don't know. I think someone ought to go along with me. How would I do? <laughs> He'll keep working for you, all right. Just try and fire him. <laughs> <laughs>